all this time waiting, and it's a two minute long trailer. Oh, let's get on with it, shall we? That's what we're all here for. Bull Bunny, not out of the ordinary so far. DeLorean, but what, what? Excuse me! Oh my god, yes! Glory to the Goon! Oh my! Okay. Lanoon, of course. <laughs> what? I I am down for this. Oh my! <gasps> oh my god! Lanoon has an evolution now. Off to Goon. Um, what's that? That's a new Pikachu clone. So, more Pico. Hunger Switch. I assume that'd be when your opponent eats berries and you take it instead. Angry Mode! And it's got a move called Aura Wheel. Oh, that's, fant oh, that's fantastic! Mimikyu in the Sword and Shield anime confirm. So, B definitely must be related to B in some way. Marnie. Okay. Uh, what are these? They named the team after me. <laughs> that is exactly what I want to see. <laughs> I'm in love already. I'm grateful I'm getting this game now. What, is that it? Okay. Right, let's go through it then. November 15, 2019. The Pokemon League ends on July, sorry, September the 8th or September the 15th with the Ash Kukui battle hopefully being shortly after that. So yeah, let's go through it. As we saw here, we got Galarian Weezing coming in, which looks absolutely amazing, by the way. I'm surprised it's furry type, considering... You know, it's got steam coming out of it. Surely that would be more indicative of a fire type. But, well, it's still something, isn't it? You've got Zigzagoon and Linoon and then Obstagoon. So I'm wondering here if Obstagoon's going to have its Hoenn form as well. I don't know about that. That's something that I have to look into. What else is there? More Pico with full belly mode. It's got the move Aura Wheel, uh, type Electric or Dark, depending on what form it's in. I'm guessing after Hunger Switch, that might actually change its form, rather than it stealing a berry off someone. So I'm assuming that berries are going to be a lot more important this year with Morpico, and maybe if Morpico becomes a competitive Pokemon, you'll see a lot of berries used with Morpico, or maybe leftovers as well. It's too early to say yet until the Pokemon channel or the Pokemon Twitter accounts confirm anything. That's fine. And yeah, it's got the hangry mode. I would assume as well that more Picos or a wheel would increase in power because when you're hangry, obviously you're angry. So perhaps in that case, it's or a wheel will increase in power. Too soon to say until again it's confirmed, but so be it. I wonder if it's hangry mode as well is going to allow it to, I can get onto it here. Hit Mimikyu through its disguise, that would be really useful in the show as well, assuming that Jess's Mimikyu comes to Galar from Alola. You got B, who I mentioned is probably going to be related to B in some way. Probably her mum or grandma or something like that. She looks quite old, so it's quite interesting the idea of having an old arrival. I know technically you've got Kukui at the moment, who is the professor and eventual champion of Alola. But it'll be interesting to see how this compares and, again, what Pokemon has in store for it. She's got here, you can see, a Solosis. If I don't misclick it, there we go. She's got a Solosis as well. Uh, I assume that's just a random choice. Marnie, who is probably going to be the team Yell leader. This looks really cool and very indicative of British culture now that Galar has been 100% confirmed to be 
based on the UK, as if it wasn't obvious anyway, with things like the Lake District and was Snowdonia? I can't remember the girl I'm off the top of my head. I know the industrial cities of Manchester, Liverpool, Burnley, Preston were all referenced with the massive industrial city, but we don't know yet, or probably won't know exactly what the inspiration was. Marnie's got wild fans. It's quite interesting, considering we've just had Alima, who's in very similar stature, but more of a good guy. Maybe Alima could come in in some capacity. It's going to have to deal with them. They've obviously got the Kiss-inspired Zigzagoon. Well, at least I think it's Kiss-inspired. Um... Oh, WhatsApp's packing up in the background. Wonderful. <laughs> you seen that? No, sorry, here. <laughs> That's really good. Marnie looks so fed up with it, it's great. So, yeah, there wasn't really much, you know, to do with analysis. There wasn't really much to analyse, but hopefully more will come through in the next few days, and hopefully we'll see more Galarian forms. So with that, we've just had the shortest stream I've ever done. I have been Terry is not a streamer. I expect this on YouTube very soon. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you very soon.